Hello and welcome back to my channel and welcome to a very special Tuesday review because I have waited a long time to try this product. When Tarte first launched their Shape Tape Concealer, let me tell you this took over the internet. If you were on the beauty side of YouTube when this launched, you could not open your eyes without seeing this concealer. Everyone was using it, everyone loved it, but it was an Ulta exclusive and Ulta is only in the States. <laughs> I mean, of course, you probably could order directly from the Tarte website, but like, who does that? Nobody does that. However, now finally, whatever, five years later, um, it looks like the licensing with Ulta has run out uh, because all of Tarte's Shape Tape products have launched on Sephora, at least in Canada. So I recently did a Sephora order and I was able to pick up this mini size of the Tarte Shape Tape. It says Shape Tape Contour Concealer. I have mine in the shade 16N Fair Light Neutral, which, fun fact, I kind of just blindly picked and it ended up being almost like the exact same shade of my skin. My face is kind of different colors in different zones, so if I was covering it on my forehead, it might be a little bit too light, but under my eyes, on my chin, that sort of thing, it's pretty much exactly the same tone, so I picked perfectly. In this mini size, you get one milliliter or 0 0.0338 fluid ounces, and this little size actually only costs $13. So I didn't think that was that bad, and I believe they have a mini size of all of the shades. So it's not even just like a lot of brands will do, like they have the full range, but then if you're getting a mini, they do like a short range. I think Tarte has a mini of every big size, so if you want to try this concealer like I wanted to, um, try it with a mini. I mean, it's only 13 bucks. So I know with the bigger bottles, you get like a much bigger doe foot applicator, but with this one, you just get like a sort of, you know, probably proportionately sized mini doe foot applicator. So like I said, taking a quick look at it on the Tarte website, this is the Shape Tape Concealer. The full size is $38, but the mini size is um, $13. It looks like it comes in 35 shades. Uh, my, my counting might be wrong, but it looks like it comes in 35 shades and it has a great shade range, unlike uh, the Shape Tape products that they later launched. <laughs> it says it's full coverage, long wearing, waterproof, and vegan about the product. What it is, a best-selling concealer to swipe on the hype wherever you go. Coverage full finish matte formulation liquid. Highlighted ingredients. Shea butter helps retain skin's visible elasticity. Mango butter moisturizes and conditions licorice root visibly brightens skin and color corrects. I'm gonna skip the ingredient colors because I don't really care and also I can't pronounce half of those. What else do you need to know? This full coverage formula delivers up to 16 hours of flawless wear, smoothing and brightening for lifted looking eyes. This proof formula utilizes tape technology to blur the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles without caking or settling. Clinical results. In a consumer panel test, 100% agreed it doesn't crease or look cakey. 100% agreed skin looks and feels smoother. 100% agreed under eyes look smoother. So after many years and all the hype around this concealer, what do I think of it? So here's what I'm gonna say. I love this concealer for my face. I am not wearing any foundation right now. I'm just wearing this concealer like around my eyes, on my nose, and around my mouth. Um, so if you think that those areas of my face look nice, it is this concealer. It does have great coverage. It is smooth. Um, I will have to say though, it isn't my favorite for the under eyes. It doesn't look cakey and it doesn't look too heavy, but I don't find it crease proof. I find that even if I only use a little bit, um, it creases. If I set it with a lot of powder, it creases. If I set it with a little bit of powder, it creases. So personally for my under eyes, I will still continue to use a color corrector and then either my Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer or the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. I just prefer the look of both of those concealers. They look a little bit smoother and they don't really, you know, kind of sink into my crinkles quite the way this one does. This one is still good. Let me just get that out there. Like, I'm not saying this is a bad concealer. It definitely sits nicer under my eyes than a lot of other concealers do. Somehow, somehow it manages to crease a little bit, but without really emphasizing uh, lines too badly or caking. So if you're someone who doesn't have a ton of bags under your eyes, you might really like this. And by a ton, I truly mean a ton. Like if you just have a couple of wrinkles under your eyes, this is a great concealer for you. I will still use it under my eyes. I just have other concealers that I like more. But I really do like this for around the face because I don't find that it really emphasizes sort of dryness on zits or healing acne. Um, I find that it has a fair amount of coverage and I find that it does last a long time. I mean, I was outside in the world today and it's really warm out and I was sweating a lot and this concealer has not gone anywhere. Um, it didn't really transfer to my mask a whole lot. It didn't, you know, it hasn't really gotten shiny on me and hasn't rubbed off. It has stayed put. It just creased a little bit in my under eyes, you know? It looks nice. It doesn't catch on my skin. 
Do I think it's the absolute perfect life-changing concealer that it was made out to be when it first launched? Absolutely not. And I think the way that a lot of people were applying it when it first came out in those sort of big, thick under-eye triangles, like I have no idea how they blended that out and then made it look smooth. It must have been filters on their cameras or filters and something because there's no way you can do that with this concealer and have it look that nice. In that case, with that much concealer, it's gonna look too heavy. Um, but it is a good concealer. It does blend out nicely. It does cover very well. And on days like today, when my skin overall looks pretty good, I totally have no problem using this spot conceal and take down the redness on my nose and that sort of thing. I think $38 for a concealer is a lot. Like, let's be honest, most of my favorite concealers are drugstores, so I don't know that I would ever buy the full size of this because that is an insane price for a concealer. Um, but the mini size being only $13, the fact that I'm gonna use it to spot concealer, I'm gonna use it on sort of lighter makeup days on my under eyes, I would buy this again in the mini size for sure, especially in the shade, like I said, because it matches me so perfectly. Um, I don't think I would ever see myself paying $38 for the, for the full size bottle. That is such a high amount of money. Why is it like that? I guess because it was so hyped up and it is still so hyped up, they think they can probably charge whatever they want and people will still buy it. But definitely go for the mini. If you're kind of torn between the two and you want to try it, definitely go for the mini. I feel like I didn't say enough. Overall, it is a nice concealer. Do I think it was worth the hype that it got when it first launched? Not in the way it was being used when it was getting that hype. Like the way people were really caking it on their face, it probably looked awful in real life and it just looked great on camera with the magic of TV. Like I definitely doubt it looked that nice in real life. But if you just use a little bit, a little bit with this concealer really goes a long way. You can really spread it out, really blend it out, really make it look nice. I think in that sense, it's worth the hype. It really does cover. And especially if you use a little bit, you can kind of get it to blend into your skin and look a little more natural and they have such a nice shade range of this too that I think it'll be easy for a lot of people with a lot of different undertones to find their shade and when I say such a nice shade range I mean like the shades themselves look nice none of them look too orange or too pink or that sort of thing they look like they're actually going to match humans and not cartoon characters the way a lot of other brands do so overall i do think this is a nice concealer i don't think it's worth 38 dollars, but i do think the mini size is worth 13. i don't know man the proof is in the pudding it covers under eyes pretty great it didn't emphasize texture or anything it just kind of creased a little bit it wasn't even the worst creaser on the planet it's just important to point out that it does in fact crease especially if you have extremely crinkly under eyes like me you're probably going to want something else and anyway those are my thoughts on the tarp shape tape concealer the day has finally come i finally got to talk about this on my own channel now i can put this one in the books and we can move on <laughs> thank you so much for watching this video make sure you give it a thumbs up and you subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed already and i will see you next time bye